Hello, greetings from Boonri. In today's GK topic, we will see what is the second wave of COVID-19. How is the second wave different from the first one? What can we do to protect ourselves? Let's watch ahead. On 31st December 2019, the organization named WHO that stands for World Health Organization or shortly called WHO came to know of a virus in China and soon that virus spread all across the globe. It was named Novel COVID-19. Novel because it was completely new strain that had not been previously identified in humans. CO stands for Corona, the name given to the virus. VI stands for virus and D stands for disease. Because this started in the year 2019, it was named COVID-19. The pandemic has already taken the lives of many. And when everybody thought that the pandemic was coming to an end, the deadly effects started again. How? Watch ahead. Every virus has a characteristic property. What is that? The virus can undergo changes when it multiplies. This process is called mutation. As the virus replicates itself, it may not produce exact replicas, resulting in the emergence of new strains with some changes in it. Sometimes, two different strains get together and form a new one. These are called double mutants, which can be severe. Once a virus gets into your body, usually through your nose or mouth, it goes in and gets attached onto one of your cells. It then makes copies and infects other cells. This is one reason why the pandemic is spreading even faster now. So let's make a comparative study between the first and second wave. When the first wave of coronavirus spread, it was majorly affecting the people from the older age groups. But now it is targeting children and youth as well. Earlier, people showed symptoms like cough, fever, tiredness, headache and loss of smell and taste. The second wave is showing those symptoms along with some new ones too, such as redness in the eye, nausea, diarrhea, while some show discoloration of fingers and toes too. So how can we protect ourselves from COVID-19? Take a look. Just because you have taken a vaccine or have already got COVID before doesn't mean that we can let down our guard. We still need to take precautions. Once we get a disease, it is true that our body makes antibodies to fight against it. But these antibodies stay in our body for some time, so we might not be protected forever. There's a risk of contracting the disease again as some people have got affected with it. Hence, it is important to take utmost care and follow some points. Number 1. Don't panic or stress yourself out. But at the same time, don't take COVID-19 lightly. Number 2. Always follow protocols set by the government and ensure personal hygiene by washing hands often with soap for at least 20 seconds or using sanitizer and wearing masks properly and maintaining social distance when in public areas. Number three, if you feel you have any symptoms, even if they are minor, seek medical assistance. Talk to your doctor rather than taking opinions from others such as your friends 
which might not be valid. A delay in getting the right treatment might worsen your health. Number 4. Most importantly, stay positive and eject any negative thoughts from your mind and eat healthy foods.